From spiders and transparent frogs, all the way to fire-tailed monkeys and even an ancient species of pandas. Here is part three of the top ten newly discovered species that are terrifying to scientists. Starting off in our number ten spot, we have the pelican spider. All right, nature is crazy. Many of us have likely heard of animals that have the ability to appear like other scarier animals or things in order to deter predators, but have you ever heard of spiders that kind of look like pelicans? Madagascar's pelican spider. Spiders have this sort of crazy illusion of a neck and a beak, and one of the newest discovered species just might be the most pelican-y of all. The researchers who discovered this new species published their findings in 2018, along with the information that this spider species is likely endemic to Madagascar, meaning it can't be found anywhere else in the world. In our number 9 spot today, we have the glass frog. This little frog, also known as Diane's bare-hearted glass frog, or even a kermit frog, is a lime green little guy. But his surprise comes when you turn him over to look at his underside. This is when you'll realize that he is completely see-through, allowing us all a look at his internal organs. These guys make their home in the rainforest foliage of Costa Rica, and they were found by researchers at the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center. They did appear similar to other kinds of glass frogs, which is why it took so long for them to be distinguished as a different species, but as it turns out, there is a 12% divergence from their nearest relative. Another really interesting thing about these frogs that is also another reason why they went so long without being discovered has to do with their call. Their call is said to sound much more similar to an insect rather than a typical frog. In our number 8 spot today we have the transparent sea slug. This new species of sea slug is quite a captivating creature. They belong to the grouping called nudie branches, which are soft bodied marine gastropod mollusks. These type of creatures are known to shed their shells after their larval stage, and they are best known for their incredibly bright and striking colors, although this new species is more transparent looking. These sea slugs were discovered and unveiled by the California Academy of Sciences back in 2014, and they were described from a specimen found near Waterfall Bay in Malaysia, although they've also been found near the Philippines and Japan as well. These slugs are quite slow growing, and they love to chow down on soft-bodied corals for a tasty meal. In our number 7 spot today, we have the ray spider. This new species of ray spider was discovered just this year in 2022 and it is thought to be endemic to a certain region of Japan. These spiders are known for their conical webs that are quite distinct from other spider webs. The thing about ray spiders is that they aren't filter feeders at all. For someone who is terrified of spiders like I am, their way of hunting is a lot more frightening than I would like to imagine. These guys stretch their webs into a cone-like shape like I mentioned before, and then they hold on tightly while they wait for their unsuspecting prey to waltz on by. When it's time to strike, they either shake or they let their webs fly out in order to catch their delicious meal. While these spiders certainly are battle ready, the good news is, is that this new species is quite small, which means that we can all rest easy. In our number 6 spot today we have the new sea slug. Another new species of sea slug, these guys were first classified back in 2018 after they were found in the coral reefs of Indonesia. While kind of strange looking, these creatures are also pretty dazzling, as they have either a bright beautiful purple color, or they are white with orange spots. It took so long for them to be discovered because of their similarities to another species of sea slug. But after some DNA sequencing, however, it was realized that these similarities are more of a mimic rather than a close relative. It is said that these sea slugs are quite adept at survival skills as they have a whole pile of strategies that they rely on. These include mimicry, camouflage, and cryptic patterns. In our number 5 spot today, we have the living branch. Alright, looking at a picture of one of these guys, you'd think it's just a large stick, but instead it really is a new species species of very, very large stick bugs. These guys were discovered in Vietnam in late 2014, and they have been wowing scientists ever since. These guys can grow to be over a foot long, which makes them one of the largest insects ever found. So while I was researching for this video, I had the question, how are stick bugs born? Do they come from eggs? How many eggs would a stick bug have? You know, just regular stick bug questions. As it turns out, I was a little in over my head, because apparently female stick stick bugs will lay over a hundred eggs, some species laying as many as 1,000 eggs per gestation. That's wild. That's potentially a lot of stick bugs. In our number 4 spot today we have the Araguayan River Dolphin. This is a newly discovered species of Amazon River Dolphin that is actually causing quite a bit of debate in the scientific community. These residents of the Amazon River are the largest of all river dolphins, and adults end up acquiring a strange pink coloring which can be more prominent in the males. In 2014, based on 
nuclear microsatellite and mitochondrial DNA data, as well as noticeable differences in skull morphology. These guys were classified into their own distinct species, but not all scientists are yet convinced that they are separate. For those who do believe that it's its own species, they believe that the split from their closest relative came about 2.08 million years ago. In our number 3 spot today, we have the fire-tailed TD monkey. Back in 2011, scientists were looking for animals in southern Brazil when one scientist noticed an unusual monkey with a bright reddish orange tail. This of course sparked some interest and led to some more trips to observe these monkeys, which in turn led to the discovery of a new species. This new species is a kind of TD monkey which are small tree dwelling primates that have about 30 species throughout South America. These guys live in small family groups that consist of a monogamous pair of adults and usually two or three of their offspring, and these families often spend most of their time grooming each other. One of my favorite things about these creatures is how they will often sit next to one another on a branch while their tails intertwine endearingly. While it is too early in their discovery to know for sure if these guys are endangered, experts warn that they are not yet out of the woods, and if they aren't endangered, they might be soon because of their limited habitat that is currently facing threats of deforestation. In our number 2 spot today we have the fanged frog. This species of frogs are endemic to northern and western Sulawesi, Indonesia, and they were discovered in late 2014 by scientists from the University of California, Berkeley. These frogs are actually fanged frogs as they have two projections on their lower jaw that they use when they get into fights. One really unique thing about this species of frog is in relation to their reproduction process. They have internal fertilization and they give live birth to tadpoles. This is different from other frog species that give live birth as they normally produce froglets, which is the cutest little thing I've ever heard. Little froglets. What? It is said that these live tadpoles are likely protected early in life by their frog fathers. I mean, I personally wouldn't risk getting in a fight with a fanged frog, would you? In our number one spot today, we have the ancient panda. This is likely the newest discovery on this entire list, but it's a discovery that came about 6 million years too late. By using a set of fossilized teeth that were actually found in the 1970s, researchers recently just uncovered a new species of panda that lived all those millions of years ago, but this panda was quite different from what we know today, and that is because these guys made their home in Bulgaria. The fossilized teeth are shiny and black because they were found in coal deposits, but researchers were still able to date them back to the Mycenaean age, which took place 7.2 to 5.3 million years ago. These pandas would have lived in humid forests and swamp areas, and they are comparable in size to pandas today. These teeth, however, aren't quite as sturdy as those of pandas today, so rather than tough bamboo, it is likely that these guys had a diet of softer plants. This discovery is just one that shows us how little we really know about ancient nature, and how much there is to uncover, even still today. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you next time. Goodbye! The University of California. What the universal? Um, another really interesting thing about these frogs is the, uh, little, little, little.